Today's topic is the six-fold path to happiness. If you ask anybody, do you want to be happy, everybody would say yes. There's nobody would say, no, I don't want to be happy. Everybody wants to be happy. The foundation for happiness are good thoughts. There are many facets to happiness, but good thoughts are essential. And the good news is that we can have good thoughts or even happy thoughts at will at any time we choose. For instance, right now, I'm going to ask you to have a pleasant memory. It could be something you ate this morning, a loved one you saw. Take just a few seconds to have a pleasant memory. I know that every one of you did that. You just add a little bit of happiness to yourself. What we need to do all day long is enjoy some of our memories. We all have good memories. So even during tough times, we can at least focus on some of the memories we cherish. We accumulate beautiful memories all day long. And it just takes a few seconds to focus on as we just did. And you also demonstrated the enormous power of the mind. You're able at will to reside your thoughts in the past. You're able at will to choose the polarity of positive thought. At will. Now another aspect of happiness, it's important to always have something to look forward to. That adds the spice of life. Have something you're looking forward to. So I'm going to ask you right now, think of something you're looking forward to. It could be a meal, it could be seeing somebody could be a, a trip you're taking. Think of just something you're looking forward to. I'm sure most of you had many thoughts that came at will. Again, you chose the time dimension, the future. You chose the polarity, the pleasant anticipations, eager anticipations. So you should, throughout the day, whether you're having a good day or you're having a bad day, take a little time well, three or four times a day, so you think of some pleasant memories and think about something you're looking forward to. Looking forward to something is essential to be happy. We want to be able to have these good thoughts. Now, in addition to looking to the past and the future, we could also think about the present. Think about something right now that you're, you're thankful for. It could be that you could see, that you can hear, the, the freedom of speech. Uh, take a second and think about some aspects you're, you're happy about right now that you're grateful for. Again, you're able at will to do that. You're able to come into the present at will. You just took a second to just appreciate uh, what's in front of you, what's inside of you. Just took a second to do that. Now, notice I use the word gratitude. Gratitude is one of the folds of what I talked about, a six-fold path to happiness is gratitude. So one power thought, a thought that we want every human being should have, in addition to other, now a power thought is a thought you repeat over and over again all day long, every five minutes, the first day, twice an hour thereafter. You want to be able to internalize the thought because a really constructive, positive power thought will help keep negative thoughts from coming up, and when they do come up, give us a way to overpower them and help balance the negativity in our lives. So gratitude is one of the key secrets, the key, one of the key paths to happiness. So there's so much to be thankful for in the present, in the past, and in the future. And whatever problems we're having, there's still tremendous thanksgiving that we should be giving. And so a very good power thought is, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And it should be repeated all day long. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. We can use an amplifier. I'm so grateful. I'm extremely grateful. We could add what's called a spiritualized. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you, Lord. That's a spiritualizer for those who believe in a, in a higher power and a creator. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you, Lord. The gratitude uh, is what I call a solidifier. So you're, we've amplified it. Extremely grateful. Thank you, Lord. It's a spiritualizer.